This tutorial will show you how to get graphical assets out of Illustrator to use in InDesign. If you have an Illustrator file with graphics, you can use your Illustrator file directly in InDesign if you've saved it correctly. How do you do that? Well, when you save and file save, and I'm just rewriting over my things.ai as a save as, I'm going to call it the same thing. And when I click save, and I know that I'm replacing my file, I want to make sure that I have the option for creating a PDF compatible file. We're actually going to use our Illustrator graphics as little PDFs in InDesign. So I'm going to select OK, and then going back over to InDesign, I'm going to file and place my things.ai, double click. I have preview options up, which is good because what I want to see is my layers because I'm going to use uh, uh, the layers that I have in Illustrator in InDesign. So when I click on layers, I have um, a layer for each one of the layers that I have in Illustrator. I only want to see my circles layer. The thing that I need to make sure of is that I can see that my bounding box is around my graphics. A lot of times though, the bounding box will be set for all layers. You can see that that's much bigger. So I want to make sure that under the general settings that I change the options crop to visible layers only. So now that I'm only seeing my circles, that is, um, that is where my crop is. So when I go back to layers and have circles, I can select OK and then just click to place that. Now, I know that I have all of the other layers contained within this particular uh, graphic frame. So I am going to make copies of each of my other versions and then go right click on that second one and show my object layer options. And this time I want to see my um, uh, very rounded rectangles. So I'm going to Click that and then I'm going to right click and show my rounded rectangles and then I'm going to right click on that last one and show my square. Okay, So for each of these um, other graphics I have extra frames sitting out here so for each one of these I'm just going to slide over to the place where I've got the extra frame hover over the sizing handle and double click and that's going to snap the frame to fit the graphic. Oops, missed that one. Okay, so if I look at each one of these in my links panel, I see that each one of them is um, referencing my things.ai file, which is great. If I needed to change any of these, I could right click and I could edit this with Illustrator, um, which is editing the original. So that is how I can get my graphics in, um, to InDesign from Illustrator. You can also, in Illustrator, you can export graphics um, by selecting them. That's easy for me to do because I've got all of my graphics out in separate layers. And I'm just going to demonstrate how you can do this, but um, with all of those those um, graphics selected. I can then come right click and collect these for export. If I exported the selection, these would all be bound together, um, as would exporting it as a single asset. But if I export it as multiple assets, then you can see that I have the ability to um, export each one of these. And then I can look at the export settings and I have um, the default is just one times, which is the size that it is. And um, it's going to go out as a, a PNG. So when I click export, I'm going to navigate to the folder where my things stuff is stored. It's going to create a folder for me um, that's going to say 1x. And I choose my things um, project folder. And I wait for the export things.ai is successful. That's great. Um, I can come back over to InDesign and I can then file and place 
and go look for those assets. And I can see them. Let's just scoop them all up and say open. And I've got my import options on, so I'm just going to agree to each one of these. They're going to come back in with transparent um, uh, backgrounds. And I'm just going to click, 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 and click. The thing that's different about the exportation of assets as PNG files, since I chose one time, it um, exported at, at the size that I created it as, which might be fine. Um, but when I, when I scroll in, when I zoom in, I can see that the edges are pixelated. When I zoom into the placed files, however, um, they can be zoomed in as far as you need them to go, and they will not pixelate. So um, two different ways to get those assets into your InDesign file. Um, if you did want to export your assets and have um, more control over what you got, you can always change your export settings and add um, uh, different scales or even a resolution.